Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Digital Studio and today I'm gonna share with you how to change the color of an object in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and I have this short ad that we've made for a client and basically I would like to change the color of the can here from a yellow orange to pink. To do that, we're gonna go over to the color page and here in the color page, we're gonna select the qualifier. Then we're just gonna select the color that we want to modify. And here, we're gonna use the shortcut Shift H to just show on screen the color selected so we can make a fine-tuned adjustment here in the qualifier. So here I'm gonna select a wider range of hue. So I'm sure to select exactly the color that I just picked. Then we're gonna adjust the saturation. Here I'm gonna select uh, pretty much the entire uh, gamut of saturation because we have a white background uh, and we only have blue and orange. So I can allow myself to have wide range of selection because I'm not afraid that I'm gonna pick on, let's say uh, the green color or the red color. Uh, I'm pretty safe within that. There is nothing else in the frame that's gonna change color with it. Then I'm just gonna adjust the luminance and I think I'm pretty happy with that. So basically you will have to fine tune the U, the saturation and the luminance to make sure that you're selecting exactly the color that you try to change on screen because you may have uh, some different tone in the shadows and in the highlight of your colors. So you will have to adjust all those three to really select the entirety of the object that you try to change. Now I'm gonna hit shift space again to go back to my clip. And here I can adjust the U to completely change the color of my clip. Then when you selected the color that you wanna use, you can adjust the offset right here to have it brighter or darker, which is gonna give you either a richer color or a more pastel color. For this one, I think we're quite right with matching the tonality of the blues right here. And I'm quite happy with that. I think it looks nice, but again, uh, here we have to deal with very few color. We have a white background and we had only two colors. So doing this technique that is uh, actually very rough because we are only uh, using qualifier uh, might not be the best uh, in every scenario. That's something that I use a lot when working in studio, when there is a color of a project to change, something to adjust, because mostly we're working with uh, just a couple of colors, you know, maximum four or five, and then it's just easy to use only that. But then if you need to be more precise, you would need to use power window and basically draw a mask around the object uh, that you're trying to change, uh, a mask that needs to be as precise as possible. Here, I'm just gonna do a rough mask, so here, as you can see now, it's only applying to the area within that mask. And then you will go to tracker to track that mask if you have a moving shot. Then you can just track this mask either frame by frame on the entire clip. Let me know if you want to see a video on how to use the tracker in the color page. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.